Driver, how far do we stop? Almost there. I'll drop you at the town square in Italy. Why lock the gates? Capes out wanderers looking for work. We don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about Trey? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after him. to the line. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Hello again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. And I'm busy, so stop your pestering me with questions. Chit-chatting to him's gonna get me no place fast. It's unlocked. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle.
it looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it. some clues. Cellars filled with human remains. Nothing of interest. in here. This noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. It won't budge. Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. 
They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. It won't open. Looking for Brian Burnham. Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. Young mister, I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Allen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taken business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> ah. Now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor in an lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Ah. Old Captain Mobin where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. 
But I've seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And is there anyone in Innsmouth who doesn't know my name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange? Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. <laughs> 